Hello everybody, Steven here with Cardboard Coalition. Sorry about making that disgusting knuckle pop, habit of mine. But today, I heard a ring, a pitter patter, a loud thump, and a vehicle, a, a truck driving off, right? It didn't work out so poetically as I thought it would. But then I went down to um, check, and I got a package that is nice and smashed on the corner. All right, thanks FedEx. Thanks for not giving a rat's backside on how you deliver anything. But let's go ahead and uh, see what's in this box. It's fairly big. We don't have Resvon here. She's getting doing a lot of traveling right now. So we don't have her here to kind of see what's inside, but she does want a report of what's in here. So let's get it open, see what we have. If you looked at the thumbnail, which that might be why you came, you probably already know what's in here. But for the rest of you, and for those who know, it's that suspenseful gasp, right? Because, I mean, come on. I mean, what did you do here? Drop a baby monkey on it? I mean, I don't know. So, all right, with bated breath, we open the box. Or not, because I tried to be smart about it. It didn't cut well. There we go. A straight line. Probably need to sharpen this. This uh, make this uh, knife. I'm worried about what's in here. All right. Great videoing, so you guys can't see. So I will say that it's super duper uh, packaged in here. Right? There's there's lots of lots of bubble wrap in here, and this is an empty side of the box. So what do we have in here? Let's start moving things around again. Um, and I will switch over so we have a top view and you guys can get a really good look when I start opening this stuff up. But first off, what are we gonna pull out? We're gonna pull this out. What? I, I, I mean, it's a gate pack. It's not very ex exciting, but you can see gate fall. Boxes seem nice. They, um, I think they use Quartermaster, which is a, uh, usually do, they do really well. Um, but we'll see. All right. We got. Okay, that noise scares me a lot. The Kickstarter exclusive. The boxes are all just a little warped. I wonder if it's because it's um, light boxes. Oh, there we go. Yep. This one's corners all smashed in. But it's a, I mean, it's a light box, so hopefully, you know, let's hope for the best. All right, more into the North Woods stuff. Woods, North Woods, more into the North Woods stuff. All right, and then, of course, the big grand pappy. Oh, I just hit my mic. That's probably loud for you guys. I'm really sorry. So, lost uh, north in in the lost. I keep calling it into the north woods. I don't know if you've ever seen that horrible. Um, and I'm sorry if you guys love it. Play into the woods. It's always stuck in my head with anything that says woods. So lost in the woods. So we'll go ahead and set this over here. All right. What else do we have in here? We have. The component tray. Then we have, I believe these are the coins and um, I'll try to get this video out pretty quick. Um, I was planning, this for, planning for this to be a Wednesday video but it's probably gonna be a little sooner. It's the bag of coins. Um, if I remember um, correctly, they said they didn't get the extra bag of coins in that they were supposed to put in and they're gonna get them out to us. I'll try to let you guys know um, if I figure that out. But there's a bag and you could tell there's there's metal coins in it. And then the last thing in here oh, is Gatefall. So I heard a lot of great reviews. Uh, it was probably hard to see, but Gatefall, right? The main game and then expansions and um, some extras. I kind of tend to go all in um, when I do things. So let's go ahead and, and get into the top view and let's go through these boxes, see what's in there, and pray and pray to the gaming gods 
that nothing is broken. I have yet to have something broken or heavily damaged. This box scared me a lot, but uh, let's go ahead and see. I'll see you in the top view. Okay guys, welcome to the overview shot. So what I figure I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the Lost in the North Woods stuff, and then I'll go into the extras and the, the main game stuff. So for all you guys who already got the game, who've had the game forever, or it's been what, a couple of years, a year or so now. If everybody already has this, then you know you already know what's in there and you can just stop watching if you're just interested in seeing what comes into this. And for everybody who wants to see everything, I'll run through everything. I'm gonna do it really quick, guys, because I'm trying to keep my videos a lot shorter um, just because I don't like to watch long videos either. And if I do, they're in the background and um, I'm not paying that much attention. So let's try to get through this um, as quickly with giving you guys as much information as possible. One of the things I would say to, um, where's the box here, Jack, this is a worrisome noise. I'm gonna do it closer to my mic. That's a worrisome noise. I'm hoping it's just some things are loose in there and it's not that things have broken. I think this one does it really bad and I'm almost scared to scared to move it around though I did all right so let's go ahead and start moving things away and we'll go through it maybe I can set it up where I have the most important things to look at and then the least important now nah, it doesn't work that way this is all important all this stuff's important all right pushing some stuff out of the way the gate packs the everything I am notorious for being one of those all-in kind of people We'll move this out of the way for now and we'll get back to it here in a second. So let's go ahead and deal. This is the main um, expansion, Lost in the North Woods. The rest are extras. I can't remember which ones were the um, Kickstarter exclusive ones. Uh, uh, maybe all of the ones that I do after this, guys. So for you guys that are watching this later and you want to go out and buy this, this is the main Gatefall expansion. And then there was some extra stuff. And it's easy to tell with the first Kickstarter what the extra was because it says it on the box. All right, let's dig into this. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. Um, recently, by recently, I would say within the last year, a little over a year now, um, I got into painting the miniatures instead of just having gray miniatures because I got a few games that had miniatures in it. And I'm kind of excited because these look like they're, they're fairly big size miniatures. So I'm kind of excited to take a shot at a bigger miniature which I'm assuming means I can put more detail in but we will see all right come on come on baby we can do it there we go nice and easy um well that's goo on the side of the box maybe glue from the inside but see this box is nice and sturdy so hopefully um old jack he doesn't mind if I call him Old Jack. He's probably younger than me, but Old Jack uh, doesn't mind. These boxes are decently sturdy. I mean, they're nice and sturdy. The extras boxes are a little flimsy, right? But that's okay. I'm sure they're trying to cut some costs somewhere. So we have some cardboard tokens. Oh, there's the little zombies. I'm not going to pop them all out, but just do a couple. They seem to pop out pretty easy. Ooh, fairly thick. Um, not super light, not super heavy. I've seen um, worse, that's for sure. I'm trying to see the camera, make sure you guys can see everything. All right. A little thank you note. These are always nice, and this costs a little bit to get them printed out and put in there. I don't know how much, but these are always kind of nice. A little thank you for buying this game. All right. So we'll throw that down there. Oh, I hope this is what I heard rattling around the other box. The fresh packs. Stay fresh, y'all. All right, so we got ourselves a map. Um, there is some warping. It's a thinner cardboard. There is some warping, but uh, you know they say don't do it, but I don't care. I, I live in a desert area, right? And so I've noticed it happens with everything. So there we go. Here's a little, the Northwoods map. Let's go ahead and set it down so you guys can see it. I wonder if I should set it underneath so everything is getting put out on the Northwoods map. Let's do it that way. All right, the Northwoods map. Readjust everything to make a nice camera shot. All right, you're taking too long, Stephen. Taking way too long. 
Eventually, if you guys watch my um, videos long enough, you'll probably catch my last name too because I tend to call myself by my last name more than my first. I try to do the first for the videos. All right, um, I, a little bit dented in the corner, not bad. I think it's just not being deep enough, so they moved a little bit, but here we go. And it, it, pardon me for destroying these. Um, I do deal with mythology a lot, but I'm always bad with names. So Volhiv, Volhiv, the Drowned Warrior is the one I'm most excited about. It'll be interesting to try to paint that purple. We got the Drowned Warrior. Arena Mode. Let's see, Zimor, Zimorodok, Zimorodok. Rezvan's very excited about her. And then we have Swamp Zombies. Er, the Swamp Zombies, right? That's the tokens there, but I also got the extras, um, which are the Swamp Zombies in arena mode. All right, so we got ourselves those. And you guys are like, I'm not here for this bull boop. What's in the box, man? What's in the box? We got us some cards. Don't need my knife for it at all. They're just gonna open up. So gatefall cards. Like I said, for all you veterans that are checking out and you just wanna kinda see what's in the boxes really quick, you know what these cards mean. I have to read the rules and figure it all out still. So we got Berserk Fruit, love the name already, Holy Horn, and Spoon Omelet. Omelet, amulet. I don't think I'd want to eat a spoon omelet, but a spoon amulet. All right, I'm going to try to get those back in there quick, and if not, we're going to move on. And it's uh, halfway in, halfway not, and move on. All right. <laughs> so we'll set these. Let's go ahead and, I missed some nice art. Let's go ahead and put these right here. And then what everybody wants to see, and this is what I'm talking about. Um, do, do you call these miniatures? How do you get it out of the box without messing up the box, man? And I know designers put a lot of thought into how they build this stuff, so I'm going to try not to knock it very much. It's thicker plastic. I've definitely dealt with thinner plastic, right? It's a, a thicker plastic. That's nice. But let's get into the minis. First, let's look at the one everybody wanted to check out, the runes, right? Can't remember. Is that one victory? That rune victory or is it a made-up rune? Um, power, I think, is the P, like the backwards P, but... All right, let's go through these. So there's this one. Make sure the camera's kind of focusing well. I mean, the detail on these are absolutely crazy. I've seen people that are going to, they do up the bases. I don't know how to do that yet. If I paint these, I'm probably not going to do up the bases. I might try to do something that's similar to the color scheme down there. Um, I have Zombicide, and that's what I do with Zombicide is I kind of paint the tiles. Um, I'm trying to think, do I have a regular miniature somewhere? Not an easy one to grab to show you guys the difference in size. I mean, I'll just put it this way. I've been told I have meaty paws. They're not the biggest, but I got fairly um, big hands. And I mean, look at the miniatures. I'm trying to look at it, not paying attention to the camera, but that's awesome. And that sword, maybe a little hot water treatment. Put it in some hot water, it'll usually straighten things out. All right, and let's go ahead and look at what we have here. This one I'm kind of excited about too. That one's just crazy. Come on, focus, you're focused, good. That one's just crazy. That's just wild. I mean, these minis are just crazy. And I, I'm not good with the, the gap feeling, and I don't even know if I want to at this point. Um, but you know, these are multi-pieced. Um, totems? Let's say totems. I don't know what to call them. Let's see. Do you think we can fit everything in the in the picture? We can try. I'm just trying to check the camera. Let's go ahead and put that up there. Let's see if we can get through all this stuff. And we'll go ahead and we'll set these because though they're important, ladies and gents, they're not what you guys came for, right? So let's go ahead and set these to the side. Let's go through some of these other boxes. Um, I'm going to start with the Swamp Zombies, right? These were uh, miniatures that you can get. I don't remember if you can get these in the aftermarket. I'm first, well, aftermarket you can, but after the Kickstarter was over, um, I'm going to say no, and with the caveat that Steven is wrong lots of the time. 
<laughs> I do these videos to have fun, to try to share kind of my love with everybody else, you know, and not because I am the, the um, utmost efficient auto on everything. But I believe these were things that you can get um, in the Kickstarter. And there's the thing that no one likes about slip boxes too. But if I remember, I did read, and I'm saying Jack because Mr. Dyer seems weird to me, um, but I do not know him at all, or her, or they. I do not know them at all. But um, they had commented about the, the slip boxes. And after looking at Marvel Zombies, which um, I back to, getting more ideas. And that's what we do, right? As human beings and stuff, as we grow. So these are the markers for the zombies. So let's go ahead and get that lid off. That one's nice. It has the little, I think that's the corner snap. But that one... Interesting, harder box, harder to get them out to get the top off. You know, you destroy the box a little bit, but you can get these out. So let's go ahead and look at them. Saving some weight, that's nice. But we got three different sculpts of the swamp zombies coming out of the ground to terrorize you as you try to bite your way through things. All right. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, guys. I don't know why I showed you the other one. I was getting too excited and thinking about things. All right. I like that one, actually, even though it's just his head. So he slowly comes up. It's the same guy. I think these are different guys. It'd be kind of cool if you look back at them, they're the same guy, but then you'd have different um, skulls. All right. So there are swamp zombies. Let's see how we can do this. We'll, we'll tuck this in. Or probably make the video take way too long. We'll go like that. We'll put our little swamp zombies out. Let's not smash the cards. All right, let's go next. Let's go with this one. Um, box damage from getting smashed down. Yeah, you can see right there. Oh, man. Makes me nervous, man. Um, you know, and people knock FedEx or they'll knock UPS or they'll knock Amazon deliverers. Um, and probably like a lot of you guys, because of the lockdowns that we were in, I was home a lot for a lot of deliveries and it varies, right? I, I have UPS, FedEx and um, Amazon drivers just chuck boxes on, I literally chuck. I'm sitting upstairs, my office sits right above the front door um, and I can see out the window downstairs and I can see them straight and chuck it onto the porch. And some don't, some sit them down, some ring the doorbell to let you know, some don't. Like everywhere we have problem with those porch pirates. But here's a uh, Leashy. He is in foam, which is interesting choice. Let's see if I can get, all right, we got some little tokens for him. We're gonna set those right there. What else is in here? His card. There's his card, so you guys can see. Hopefully, so there's no damage on that, so we can go ahead and set his card out. As you can see, he's in, there's foam in here. Oh, that's to hold the box into place. All right. And then he's in a little slip. There we go. There we go, a little leashy. I know, this is probably gonna make the videos longer. Sorry, guys. I don't know where to put stuff, man. There's so much. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I entertain myself all the time. I've been told I like to hear my own voice. Not because I just talk, which I do. There's another one of these, which I don't know why I showed you guys. You already saw the room. But um, people catch me talking to myself all the time because I, I make myself chuckle. I like this guy. I don't know how intimidating he is, but I like him. He's cool. Little wood guy. Really want to paint him up. Um, kind of like the art shows with all wood and he's got the the greenery man. I got the greenery man. All right. So we got one more for the um, lost in the north wood. I got to look at it because it's not into the woods. This is the one that I'm a little freaked out about because I hear something rattling like light piece rattling inside the box, which scares me a lot. But here we go. Come on, gaming gods. Come on, Grim Rabbit. Don't fail me now. I just get so used to it's going to bend like that. It does bother me. And there, this isn't the only company that has done it. It does scare me a little bit, but 
All right, let's pull some things out. There's Iva. Oh, Iva the kitty cat. Iva the kitty cat. There's some more stuff underneath if you're wondering why I'm kind of half fiddling. It's making me feel a little better because it is um, loose. I can feel that some pieces have come out. So that makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, I think it was that pack sliding around. Let's go ahead and drop that out. Trying to make everything look nice. Let's go ahead and put her there. All right, so there's that. I think that was the rattling we heard, ladies and gents, so we can relax a little bit. Danica. All right, so you probably want to know what comes in there. I don't know why I set that completely off screen. You have a fresh pack in there, which was probably some of those like light things. Then you have these, which I'm not entirely sure for you guys that um, watch the videos, you know. This one had these two and they fell out. That's why I heard a little bit of that rattling around. So you have some tokens, some movement things, I'm guessing. I wonder if she can hide behind shrubs. Or is it catnip? Right, one of the two. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Danica. And now I already forgot the cat's name. And I will show you guys this. This is what happens, the thin boxes. Um, it happens with other games that have thin um, slip boxes and plastic inserts. So what can you do? Iva, Iva and Danica, there we go. So let's go ahead and check out Iva. You got your runes. These must be the markers. So there's Iva. Let's set this down. There we go with the Iva. These sculpts are, are amazing. Uh, a little flat like that. I'd like to have seen it ridged up a little bit, but it's okay. There's Iva. I'm sure Rezvan's really gonna like this, even though Iva's not a Persian cat. She's a, looks like she might be a coon, like a Maine coon, or wherever Maine coons actually came from. Oh. Is she only supposed to have, yeah, she only has a scepter. I was worried for a second, I saw that, and I'm like, oh my God, don't tell me it was a long spear. But it's like a little scepter. This is even a, a really great sculpt too. Very textured, textured, all right. So this, all this, and they slip back in there pretty nicely. This is all the um, Lost in the North Woods, right? This is everything for Lost in the North Woods. Then we also have all the um, Gatefall stuff. So if you guys were just here to see what came in the um, Lost in the North Woods, the main expansion or some of these Kickstarter extras, this was this is everything that comes in or goes along with, let's say that goes along with um, Lost in the North Woods. So, all right, there's all that. I'm gonna try to do a, a really quick push to the side as gentle as I can because it got here and it was safe and let's hope that it stays safe. Stay safe, little buddies. All right, so let's do this um, really quick. These are some of the extras that I got. Um, these are the coins, and like I said, if I remember right, unless these are the extra coins, um, Jack had said that there was a mess up in the delivery of the coins, right? and there's supposed to be an extra set of coins. Now, I don't know if this is the extra set. We got ourselves some metal coins. I don't know if this is the extra set or if this is the um, one set. So just keep that in mind. But we got some metal coins, they're pretty nice. He said in the hopes of trying to keep this as a, a fairly quick video, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and set those up here, right? Go ahead and set those right there. All right. So we'll get into the main thing, then I'll go over the extra miniatures. And then once again, if you guys are still hanging out, awesome. If you guys are getting, you saw what you want to see and you want to bounce, thanks for stopping by. Um, like I said, this is the regular gatefall stuff. If you would have kickstart the first time or you can still, um, you can buy it at some stores and stuff. If you got it that way, um, you already know what's in there, or if you're interested, this is the base game. So you need this game to play everything else. I don't know why I didn't open that all the way. 
And honestly, when I saw um, Lost in the North Woods, I gotta keep looking at it so I don't say Into the North Woods. I was like, looks interesting. But this was the one where I was like, okay, this is this is pretty cool. When I was looking at the main game and how it plays, I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. And I'll have to I have to give it to um, the game publishers, right? Um, was it Grim Rabbit? Is it Grim Rabbit Games? Yeah, Grim Rabbit Game or Games, whichever one it is. I have to hand it to them. They put this out from the Kickstarter, the price you could have bought it at the time. Now you had to wait for it, but they put it out at that price. And, and kudos to you guys, right? Good job. So this is Gatefall. If you're still hanging in there, this is the main game. And we start with the big bad daddy daddies right on top. I mean, look how big these things are. If I can't paint these well, God, God, God save the Steven. If I can't get this to come out, God save the Steven. They're nice and heavy. Oh, yes, they are. All right. So what comes in the box, right? And we got these miniatures and we'll give them a quick, quick look through. We got a whole bunch of cards. We've got the um, cards for each player right here or for each of the people you can play as. We got our maps. We got two different kinds. This looks like post-apocalyptic and I'm just gonna show you guys quick and then put it away. Though the other one was fun. There's the post-apocalyptic. Then we also have the fantasy side. So there's fantasy, right? Simple art, but nice art. It's easy to tell what's what, and you can tell what the North Woods ones are. Here is the the um, the user's manuals. What I was gonna say. Sorry about the camera. Here's the uh, player guide. How to use range distance. So it's always nice to have a, a quick reference on the back, but they're giving us some. Um, probably most asked questions, kind of looking through this order of play. Looks like it's put together fairly well. I usually say this as I'm walking through this. Um, part of my job is um, not graphic design, but um, I can't think of it right now, is not thinking. But um, <laughs> business writing, basically, I, I don't know, I can't think of it right now. I'm too excited about this. But I always say, there's, there's ways to clean this up. This is, this is pretty clean. It'd be nice if there's a reference on the back, but all right, there's that. Where can we set this? Let's set this over here so you guys can see. Everybody wants to know, oh, what comes in the box? All right. And then we have a whole bunch of coins and stuff. So this looks like this is one bag and I'm missing a bag, but I think everybody is, or at least everybody in the first group is, and they're gonna get sent out. So there's that, there's gonna be more, but um, it's weird, there's kind of a, some of them have a rough texture. Oh yeah, it is, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a glue, I think it's glue. Glue leaked out over the cardboard. Over here it's really smooth, and over here, Glue leaked out or something. I hope that's glue. It's sticky. Mm. Let's see how these pop out. Pop out pretty clean. Once again, it's like the cardboard I showed you for the Into the North Woods. Decent cardboard. I have to get, oh, get some baggies together and stuff so we can get that all together. This is the gate in between, all right? And you put the two maps on both sides so people can fight. Oops, wonder why those are all icky like that. Creeps me out, man. What kind of juice are they trying to get on me, man? Is this slug juice? All right, don't worry, it's not from a movie, it's just me saying silly things. All right, so we have Brog. Randar, there's Penny the Puppy, Gildry, Exel, Exel I'm gonna go with, Lost Boy, and Firebug, All right? Um, these are the post-apocalyptic with Penny. You can tell by the upper left corner, All right? And these are your fantasy, you can tell by the upper left corner, all right? And I bet you, yep, 
I'm glancing over it the into the north woods or into the north. Oh, I'm going to do it this whole time. Lost in the north woods, and they have um, that upside down peace symbol, which I can't remember. For some reason, I want to say it means victory. I want to say I could be wrong. So here are the cards that come in the game. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. This is the back, all right? And these are obviously different ones. I don't know what each of these cards are, but I'm just gonna flip through them quick. Here's the numbers. This is how you build up your, your. Um, I think this is actions. This is how you get actions and you build up to have more actions, all right? There's more things you can do. Upgrades on your turn, two reference cards, nice. And then right here we have, let's see, some blessed armor. Looks like these are some weapons for the guys. Blessed armor, blade of the betrayer, red glass blade, experimental blaster. Oh, it's the color. I was like, how did they get bent in the corner? All right, Bob Six. Juice collar, reaper axe, and the holy rifle of Kansas. I like that. All right. Those are nice. All right. And just a side thought is I'm, I'm shuffling all this stuff around. Um, I kind of want to set this so it doesn't get too messed up. There's the cards. Um, it would be interesting if they did the um, expansions like Lost in the North Woods as almost a, a standalone where you could play, but I guess you would need two factions. So never mind. Yeah. Ignore that as soon as I said it. All right, here's the red markers. We got wooden markers in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six people. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven. Does Penny not get one? Maybe Penny doesn't get one. Oh, there's seven in here. They're just wooden, painted red wooden markers. They're nice, though. They're nice. They're nice. All right. That's another thing. If you guys know from watching my videos, I like rolling dice. These are um, pointy edged dice, and I know there's a debate over pointy and smooth edged dice. I prefer the smooth edged dice. They're, they're light. They're not bad, though. They're indented. They're engraved. They're painted inside, right? That was a bad. I wanted to give you guys the sound. All right, I like the sound of rolling dice. You get a ton of dice, so you can roll to try to beat each other up. All right, let's go ahead and... Take a look at some of these guys. Should we start with the big guys? Start with Penny. Let's give Penny a quick look through. There's Penny. All right. And I don't remember all the names. There we go. Gildry. I mean, he's a dwarf and he's actually, he's pretty big. The detail on these are pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. It's going to be hard to do the little design down there. I'll have to do some research. Who do we got here? I can't remember his name, but he's pretty cool with his shotgun. I've seen some pretty cool paint jobs of all these. Lots of detail for you to paint and have fun with. It'll be fun. Then as Resvon calls him Gandalf, but we know it's not Gandalf, right? I say it can't be Gandalf, not in this world. But we got the wizard. All right. We got the Lost Boy. Looks like it's gonna need get some hot water treatment right there to fix that. This one I think looks pretty cool. I like the almost human mutant zombie kind of feel that he gives us. How does he go in here? How do you go in here? I think you go in here like that. All right, is this fire bug? She's pretty cool too. Gotta love the hat. Lots of things dangling. All right, and these are, you know, your, your characters that you're moving around on the board. There we go. Then we got the big boy. I have to use two hands on this one. All right. So, I mean, this is crazy. This is a lot of plastic. This is heavy. He's got a pot with, is that bones and stuff in there? Yeah, bones, there's a hand, nice. He brings his hot chow with him. That's what they used to tell us in the Marine Corps. If you're a good enough killer, you don't have to worry about food. You got hot chow on the go. All right. Ooh, sorry. Hit the camera again. Probably messed everything up. Way to go, Steven. 
Way to go, fumble fingers. All right. So there is, now we could probably leave this out. Let's push these guys right here. We'll go like that. We don't need all this extra stuff. This will give us room. Push this out off to the side. Yeah, I kind of ran out of space here. But, oop, we'll move the, move the coins. So then what else I got is some of the extra stuff. Um, Things, oh, here's the, like, why are you organizing while we're watching this video, Steven? I have no idea why I'm organizing while we watch the video. All right, so let's go through this because you guys probably want to see the minis and then you, people might want to get out of here at that point. They might be like, okay, well, I've seen the minis. It's weird calling these minis. See the, let's call them the statues. Let's see the statues. And then they want to get out. Um, so let's go ahead and jump through this one. Ship. So another thing that I appreciated, and it was a little bit more, but not much. These are the Kickstarter exclusives from the first campaign, which was the original game. So there's these, a one-sided slip box, and it's got the little finger hole, which is nice, but it's still, right? These, they're designed to, these boxes are designed for when you close them. They stay closed, so you always are gonna end up bending them just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and slide this out. All right. So those are the little extras. I don't, I, I don't know guys. It, it's my OCD that makes me wanna close the box, if that's what you're thinking. All right, what comes in here? I assume these were taped together to stay together, but they've fallen apart. So, not fallen apart, sorry guys, don't worry. The the papers come loose, so they've kind of come loose. We got us some tokens, those are pretty cool looking tokens. I don't know why these guys are completely out of the shot again. We got the fresh pack that scares you when you hear it rattling around your game. But luckily everything is intact and good. So we got Piggy, um, Celine, and Ghosts. Hmm. Ghosts from the first one. Oh, that's the helmet that those ones have. So I wonder if those are zombies and ghosts. All right, cool, cool, cool. Have to do a little more looking into that. But what do you guys want? We want the miniatures, Steven. We want the miniatures. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna keep calling them miniatures, but you guys know what I'm talking about. All right. So here's Celine. So she is one of the fantasy ones. And she's like, check out my magic rock. All right, she's pulling some magic. Very nice sculpt. And then I wonder if this guy is post-apocalyptic. Who knows, right? With this motorcycle, this guy's pretty cool too. Is this, what's his name, is it Piggy? You're probably screaming it in the chat, Piggy. All right. That is pretty cool. I got myself a motorcycle guy that can ride around and smack you with the baseball bat. So, those are all the miniatures and everything for Gatefall. This is the, the main set and then the Kickstarter exclusives that I got. And we'll go really quick and just so you guys can see maybe what this looks like. Here's the component tray. I know there is some confusion about how it works, um, some confusion about what should have come in the box with the component tray. It seems like Jack has been on top of everything with this is what's going on, guys. And one of the things I do appreciate with someone is the willingness to say that they've messed up. And it tends to, I tend to give someone a pass when they admit to their failure. Like, you know, I messed up here. I want to see, this is what I'm talking about, the slip boxes. <laughs> um, but he is definitely getting back to it. Jack definitely seems like he's trying to take care of the things that need to be taken care of, right? He's not just leaving all of us um, sitting there. He's trying to get things done, make sure it gets taken care of. So we got some more cards in there. We got some components. Someone did say they only got gasoline, but it looks like I got both of them. I forget what these are. And then the gas tanks. So mine has both of them in there. So let me go ahead and get these out for you guys to see. At least one of each. 
So there's the gas tanks. I'm not gonna knock design, they're, they're pretty cool. I think um, for these kind of tanks, they should be a little wider, but they're just markers. They're just markers, Steven, relax. Oh, are these markers? These are the markers that replace the wood things. And if you guys know, I mean, go ahead and comment, right? It helps the video. <laughs> I don't know how to get comments. I, I'm really bad at begging for comments and followers. Um, but you know, whatever. So yeah, I think these are the markers instead of just the little wooden ones, All right? And this one, yeah, because it's like a little, little potion bottle. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like when things get deluxified and they get pretty. That's pretty. All right. And what do we got here? We got some more cards. Um, I'm wondering if this is like gear or something you can get. And these were extras if you got the component tray. Blade of the Betrayer, Experimental Blaster, Blessed Armor, Bob Six, some of these are the same. The Holy Rifle of Kansas, uh, Juice Collar, and Reaper Axe. Maybe these are all exactly the same. Um, it, it looks like it explains it on the paperwork off to the side, so, I, oh, I know I'm hitting the camera, guys, over and over again. Here it goes again, the half. Steven can half put them in and then can't, so they're just gonna go right there. All right, let's go ahead and set that. That's the component tray you can get. It tells you your components right here. Item tokens. I did not get item tokens. So, um, I don't know if old Jack is gonna watch this, but components, item tokens, though I think those are the tokens that are over in that box. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look more into this. Setting up the marketplace. Interesting, oh, you know what? This is probably setting up something for that. Hopefully, it'll all get figured out. So that's the component tray box. And then we have one last one, which you guys may or may not care to see, but there was, I got this. And so you can play with four people. Why did I get it? I know it's kind of a two player game. It wasn't expensive overall. Um, I like to be able to play multiple people in games and I thought, heck, I might as well, right? At this point, I might as well. If I'm getting all this stuff, um, I wanna be able to play with multiple people. If it takes having multiple gates so we can all engage and try to battle each other, then so be it. I'm assuming, um, What's the old uh, Johnny Carson thing? And, and I know you guys can't see me. I'm, I'm old enough to remember who he is, but not to really watch it. But he used to do the genie thing joke where he guesses the answer. But I'm guessing these are maps, right? And things to connect the maps. All right, so there's your, your three-way. If you wanna go three-way, the gate in the middle. And then what do we have here? Oh, four-way. Oh, you know what, I do remember that, but you'd have to have four different maps. Right now we have three different ones. There's not even a fourth one out there yet. And then some more cards for having the more people into play. So that's what comes in um, the gate pack that gives you extra stuff. So there's everything. Um, I think I'm gonna end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not gonna open these because they look like they're more zeros and ones and probably some twos and stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, Jack, if you did watch this video for 45, 50 minutes, you're a beast. For everybody else, um, not to single him out, but if you notice we are missing something actually, I mean, let me know in the comments, I guess, or let us all know. Actually, it'd be better if you just let us all know in some kind of post like you did about the coins and storing and things like that. But thanks guys, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. I'm Steven with Cardboard Coalition. See you later everybody, bye.